Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very informal video for you, but one I'm really excited to do because I get to taste 10 different teas. Um, in December during Vlogmas, I did a unboxing of the Field to Cup tea box. So they are a wonderful tea subscription service. I will link that video down below. You can hear me talk all about the subscri subscription service itself. Um, but today I want to taste all of the teas that I received in that box. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. I have all of the uncaffeinated ones right here now on this gorgeous kind of platter. <laughs> they look beautiful. I will put a picture up here of kind of what they look like because they're different um, colors. It's a really beautiful mix of colors. And I'm going to start with the the wellness tea. So it is the Stress Cure, a healing blend of Tulsi with lemon lemongrass and Gatu Cola. I'm not really sure. That's um, what it looks like, ingredients and everything. I steeped all of them according to the packages. They do have a steeping guide, which I will also link down below, that they do with each box um, that they send you a link to in an email once the box has gone out. Um, that way you can see that there are different ways that you can steep it depending on your preferences. All of mine are um, steeped to the instructions on the package with no sweetener and no kind of milk or added creaminess, whatever. It's just the straight tea done to the packages because that's typically how I like them. Keep that in mind while you're listening to this, but yes. So the first one I'm going to taste, like I said, is the Stress Cure one. Tulsi is kind of a acquired taste. I've had it before. I liked it the first time I had it. Um, so we'll see. It definitely does smell very herbally. Lemongrass is very, very strong. Mostly I just taste lemongrass. Um, like I said, Tulsi is kind of a... It's not something that has a hugely strong taste from what I remember. It's been a while since I had it. Um, but I feel like this would be a good one if you're not feeling very well. Uh, one of the things with Tulsi is it does... It's known for having like healing properties or being really good for your... Um, your system so this one I think would be a really good one if you have kind of like a head cold or something I like the lemongrass it smells really good it tastes good it's very clean so this one I do like so next up is going to be the rooibos orange cream organic orange cream so this one is a smooth blend of rooibos organic orange and licorice root um, I said when I unboxed it that this one I'm nervous about I don't like licorice root we shall see. I'm definitely reserving judgment. Um, I like the sound of an orange cream. It smells very, very rooibos. Like, I can smell the rooibos off the bat. The licorice root is definitely there. It's in the aftertaste. It has this weird... What? How? I don't know how to describe it. One of the things with licorice root for me is it has this weird, like feeling it gives my mouth where it feels like there's like excess air in my mouth. I don't know. That's a weird thing to say. I know. But there's something about it that's very cloying and it sticks to your palate and I'm not a big fan of that. Um, the orange is really subtle. Mostly I just taste rooibos and I don't like rooibos so this one is not for me. Um, I think maybe if you are a fan of rooibos teas then you would like this. Um, if you like a licorice root then that probably would be a bonus for you but this one definitely not a favorite for me. So next up is going to be a fruit infusion and this is a super antioxidant berry tea. Um, it's got rosehip, hibiscus, and dried berries um, and it's just like a little pouch that has like two servings in it. Um, it is a very very dark tea uh, which is pretty typical with fruit infusions. It smells really good. It smells and the um, the fruit infusion looked like Bear Trap by David's Tea. That's what it reminded me of in smell and um, appearance. So okay on first tasting it's really tart like it it makes your mouth pucker up really tart but it mellows out as you drink it and it has a really nice um I can't, I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of that uh, goji berry, but not the like dirty goji berry. It's very, it has like a slight sweetness. Um, it's definitely fruity. Um, this is one that I actually do like. Uh, fruit infusions are not typically my favorite, which is why I usually steer clear of Tivana. Um, but this, I, I do actually really like. 
it smells nice. It's something I would enjoy in the evening. It's kind of like a little treat instead of maybe gummy candy because it, it reminds me of gummy candy, but as, as a beverage and not overly sweet. It's not cloying for sure. So the last one in the herbal teas is a rooibos tea. It's the forest chai, organic forest chai. Um, and it has cocoa nibs and pieces of ginger. This one smelled super duper strong. So it had um, the dry leaf smells super strong and it looks the most like traditional tea. Wow, it definitely, <laughs> it definitely has that spicy smell. It smells like Christmas for sure. Um, kind of like cinnamon cake or something. Yeah, this definitely is a good, nice evening chai. Um, the rooibos is mellowed out by the spices and the spices are mellowed out by the rooibos to create a really nice smooth chai flavor. Um, I think if you made this one into a latte, it would lose its flavor because it is pretty subtle. Um, it smelled really spicy to begin with and it still does in the cup, but the actual taste of it is a pretty subtle, um, nice clean chai. So. I'm a fan. I would definitely drink this one in the evenings. It reminds me a little bit of the stash chai, which is one of my favorites. So kudos on that. Let's talk about green teas. So there are three green teas that were in this box. The first one is the cinnamon orange sencha tea. Um, and this one has dried orange and cinnamon in it. And it came in this cute little pouch that was um, like two servings ish. I have actually already tried this one and I did really like it. So a little bit of a cheat, but we're going to, we're going to dig in. And this one has a beautiful light color that is just lovely to look at. It does have that telltale cinnamon smell. And you would think that the cinnamon would completely overpower the green tea because green teas are so delicate. Uh, but you can still taste the sencha in there. There's that kind of grassy taste and it's definitely there under the cinnamon. But overall, the cinnamon overpowers the orange. I don't really taste the orange so much. It's there a little bit, um, but you get much more green tea and cinnamon. And it is also, the thing with loose leaf teas is that it's also going to depend on what you get in your teaspoon when you are making your cup of tea because I know that a lot of times you can get a lot of maybe orange dried orange and a little less cinnamon and you end up with a much more orange flavored tea so that's something to keep in mind when you're making a cup of tea I try to scoop around and, and make sure I get a little of everything when I'm making a cup of tea but like I said I'd already made one of these um, so there may not have been as much orange left so it is still very good though. I like this one. So if you've seen my Friday Reads video, you will know I already tried this one as well. And that is the banana chocolate walnut green tea. And it is very banana smelling. I'll tell you that. It has um, almonds and walnuts and banana chips in it. And there are big walnuts in here. It's not little tiny walnut chips or pieces. It's big pieces of actual walnuts. Um, and it definitely, like I said, smells very, very banana-y. It, it kind of reminds me of like banana pudding, the smell. Um, I don't really get as much chocolate as I thought I would, um, but it's there. It's just very subtle. Yeah, it's banana. Very, very banana. If you do not like the taste of banana or banana flavored things, you probably won't like this um, because the dried banana chips it tastes just like if you were to eat them out of the bag in liquid form. That's basically what this tastes like to me. It's not my favorite of the teas, but it is very good. Um, I also didn't have as much um, walnut in this one. The first cup I had had more walnut and you could really taste that nutty walnut flavor. Um, so again, it's going to depend on what kind of cup of tea you're making from the loose leaf. And then the last green tea is the organic market chai green tea and it has cardamom and mint in it which i think is very interesting i want to i'm looking forward to finding out what mint in chai is going to taste like definitely so right off the bat i smell the mint over anything else um it's definitely it's definitely got mint in it 
To me, it tastes like a um, like a Moroccan mint. That's what it tastes like. I don't get the um, cardamom really or the spiciness of a chai. I really get the mint over everything else. Um, so if you like mint teas, this is probably something that's up your alley. I'm not a huge fan of mint tea, so not my favorite again. Um, but it's definitely a solid mint tea. And now it's time to talk about the black teas. There were also three black teas in this box. So the cinnamon, simply cinnamon black tea is one of the ones that I have tried and I really liked this one. Um, this one has cinnamon pieces and black tea leaves. That's it, very simple, very nice. Yeah, this one's very homey. It's got a really nice smooth cinnamon and a really nice smooth black tea. It's very full bodied and just, it. It makes me feel warm and cozy. I had this, I think, around Christmas or on Christmas and it definitely was the perfect winter tea. I will definitely be finishing this up before spring rolls around. It is amazing. So the next one is the Organic Peppermint Zing and this has peppermint, ginger, and black tea leaves. Um, it's got some other things like orange peel, um, cloves, that kind of thing, cardamom. So. It looks like it's gonna be a spicy black tea as well. I definitely smell the mint in there. It is very strong. <laughs> hmm, I'm not really sure what I think of this. So again, the peppermint or the mint, the spearmint, um, it's got both in it. Definitely overpowers everything else, so it's definitely more mint than anything. My mouth feels very clean. Um, I don't really get the other spicy flavors, which kind of surprises me. There's a little bit of an aftertaste that's spicy um, on my tongue. It feels a little spicy. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a very minty tea. And it's not very heavy. Like, it's not as full-bodied as I expect a black tea to be. Um, it's also one of the lighter of the black teas. So, it probably has a little bit... I, I did notice that it has cardamom as the first ingredient. So, yeah. I do get a little bit of the spice on my tongue. So, it's it's got this very interesting mix of spice and then that cool mint finish um, which is very odd in the mouth it feels it feels strange but not unpleasant so I like this one I don't know if it is one that I would call a favorite but it's something that I would probably drink again and then the last one is the strongest of all of them and one of my favorite types of tea and that is Irish breakfast tea and it is just a straight black Assam and I'm very excited. It says that it, it has hints of malt and chocolate. Um, I do really love a tea that has kind of a malty flavor. So this, just the smell of a psalm makes me just like wake up. It's one of those teas that has a really just, I don't know, it's like the morning coffee of tea or something. It's also a really dark, rich um, liquid, so there's that too. It probably closely, most closely looks like coffee as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Assam black teas have a higher caffeine level than a lot of other black teas, but I don't know. That depends on a lot of factors, as I'm finding out by reading that tea book that I have. Mmm, yep. It definitely has the bite that an Irish breakfast tea should have, and it's fantastic. It's one of those things that just fills up your whole mouth. It's a very full-bodied, um, it has this, the kind of bitterness that um, really dark black teas tend to have, which I'm okay with. This is the kind of tea that a lot of people put um, milk in or um, sweetener, usually milk. It definitely ticks all the boxes that Irish breakfast tea should, so it tastes like your traditional Irish breakfast tea, and I am pleased. So now that I'm gonna be awake until like 4 a.m. because I've been drinking tea for like an hour and a half now, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I have really enjoyed getting to try some different teas that I might not normally have picked out, especially the herbal ones. I was surprised by several of those. Um, so I definitely think that if you are interested in this at all, go sign up. I do have a link down below. Um, I will go ahead and tell you it is an affiliate link, so if you do sign up through my link, I do get a little bit of commission, just so that you know that up front. Um, but it is a really exciting, fun ser uh, subscription service that I 
have been really excited to work with. They are great people and I love their attention to detail with, you know, really trying to help you get comfortable with steeping a cup of tea that is going to be your kind of tea or that's going to be the way that you would like it. So it's definitely something that teaches you how to experiment with steeping times and all of that to really get the perfect cup of tea for you. So I admire that in them and I encourage you to go check out their website. Um, I believe that the discount code that I have for them is still active. I'll put it down in the down bar as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you uh, enjoy a cup of tea and yeah, have a wonderful January. Bye.